Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase. .com. In this video, we'll quickly demonstrate long identifiers introduced in Oracle Database 12.2. In previous releases, the maximum size of an object name was 30 bytes. Oracle 12.2 extended this limit to 128 bytes. In this example, we create a table with a long name, long column names, a long constraint name, which references one of the long column names. Using excessively long identifiers can make code look rather clumsy. I won't dwell on the following examples, but I include them to let you see the impact of long identifiers on code. We insert data into the table referencing the columns. We query specific columns from the table and include an order by. We update the table, setting a column value for a specific row. And we delete a specific row from the table. Admittedly, the table and column names are ridiculous, but it does show how clumsy excessively long identifiers can be. This change has had quite an impact on the internal tables, dynamic performance views and dictionary views. For example, describing the DBA tables view shows several of the columns now support 128 byte identifiers. Although this is an Oracle 12.2 feature, it was first introduced in the Oracle 12.1 beta, but was pulled before the release became generally available. If you check out the dictionary views in Oracle 12.1, most of them appear to support 128 byte identifier names. As mentioned previously, Using excessively long identifiers can make code look rather clumsy. You may want to exercise some control over the length of object names you use. Since some other database engines already support long identifiers, this feature makes migrations to Oracle from those engines much simpler. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.